Yo, hit that like button for your boy if you want me to go straight to the point. Hello. Guys, if you need any help at all finding your values, setting up the Zen, etc., etc., I will be putting the link below of my Podia website. You can always go and subscribe over there. Over there, you can get one on ones, any help at all, any questions you have. You can always DM me on my inbox and I'll make sure to help you. It's like 24 7. You also get anti recoil spreadsheets for free and it's always going to be updated. The spreadsheets have um, multiplayer warzone values and i will be having cold wars spreadsheet as well in there but yeah it's always gonna keep updating as long as you stay there as a membership all right and also you could get to play with me whenever i go live and such and such all right anyways make sure you subscribe and i appreciate the support all right guys so as you can see they updated the call of duty warzone optimized game pack and this is the guns that i'm about to show you right now and it's gonna be the marco 5 okay because as you guys know this gun wasn't added and every time they throw a new season they always wait maybe a couple of weeks or so that way they could add it up in the pack so right now that's the one that i'm about to show you which is the marco 5 and they also added the ugm i believe which is the lmg2 and that one i will be doing in the next video as well so anyways let me go ahead and show you this one that way you guys, guys have an idea on what the recoil looks like and then i'm about to show you the value on the computer so stay tuned and this is gonna be for the consoles guys okay this is gonna be console only and i'll bring another video with the pc values as well all right anyway so this is how it looks when it is off hold on so right now as you can see that goes all the way up see that then right there well, i should have it right there and now, right here, hold on, put it right here. See that? It pretty much stays on that range. You see that right there? It doesn't go all the way up like the other one. It pretty much stays on that range. Let me do it again. See, that's pretty, pretty damn nice. And also, guys, this is only, only with my attachments, okay? So... This all varies according to whatever attachments do you have, right? So if you want to use this type of recoil on this gun, you must use the same exact attachment that I'm about to show you in a second and the same exact values. If you have any other attachment, you could try my value that I'm about to give you in a second. But if it does not work, then like I said, you have to adjust the, um, the value accordingly, accordingly to mine. So, okay, I'm going to do it one more time right here. So then if you're right here, right then if i do it there see it pretty much stays right on this range so like i always say guys if you have a that um anti-recoil like that pattern right there not that big not too too to the left not too to the bottom then that's easily controllable from any direction okay or any length so and and obviously you're always gonna have to control your aim as well you know what i mean because like I said again, guys, in every single videos, the, the Zen is not a hacking device. OK, so you have to do your part. You have to do your part. So you could just get like an anti recoil this way. Right. And then after that, you just have to um, control it on your own. And I'm going to say it again, because it's a lot of people that have a lot of controversy. The Zen is not a hacking device. It's not aimbotting at all. It's just this one is just always just going to help you a little bit then you do the rest with what you can this are my settings right here as you can see tactical default disabled uh 5 5 dead zone 99 i'll leave that as is 7 7 sensitivity 180s and here aim response standard okay and control vibration always on that way everything works as it should now the attachment that i have for this one mind you all attachments can be changed you know what i mean you could use whatever you want but this attachment give it a try they are really 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 nice though because i've been beaming with this gun like crazy as if you see all my live streams you, then you're gonna know you know what i mean and if you want to tune into my live stream make sure to turn bell notification on i'll be playing with my viewers as well i'm, I'm about to go online i'm about to go uh live stream in a bit like uh, in one hour or so so stay tuned for that turn bell notification on i appreciate it um so this one is slate reflector i got the recoil booster the barrel have this one 
the Perfetto Lesto 355 millimeters. On the barrel, I got the Mark VI. Uh, magazine, I got the 30, 36 round Fast Max, but you could also use this one, the 64 round drums. I got rear grip, I got hatch, uh, stock, Emerito FR, perk momentum, ammunition lengthen, and perk 2 fully loaded. Anyways, let me go ahead and show you on the computer the values of it. All right, guys, so go ahead and open up the pack. Like I said, this one is going to be the Warzone Optimized, which is this one. Just drag and drop right here. And then here, you're going to notice it says UPD. That means update. Because I'm pretty sure they did the update either yesterday or today. So you just go ahead and click it right there. And that's it. It's just going to be updated. And just going to add the new guns, which is this one right here. Hold on, before I show you that, this is how I have it set up. Like I said, you just put tactical here. This is what this is my the same settings. What so whatever in-game settings you have, you must match it in here. So I just have it like this. Tactical, I have triggered that's on to five. This one I leave it as is. Seven sensitivity. This one I left it as is as well. Then this one I left it as is. Response curve type. I put standard. And then uh then you want to go here on the bottom. And then you want to set this one. I have the anti-recoil more to off enemy. Because he always changes. I have to explain this in another video as well. That way you guys know how it works. But if you put off enemy and you put on enemy, those are two different values in there. They will be different. Okay. So right now I have it off enemy and it's still beaming like, like you said, like you saw in the video. Then, um, then you want to go right here you want to put, see, it shows the Marco right here, Marco five. And like I said, again, the other weapon which is the LMG is the UM, UGM eight. So that's the one that I'm going to do next. So stay tuned for that. So turn the bell notification on because that these two guns are just pretty much meta. Well, the NZ, the Marco and the UGM is just beautiful right now, bro. So yeah, this is what I have for the value. And I only moved this one, only the vertical one. I didn't even touch this one. So six on here. And like I always said, uh, if you have different attachments than mines, make sure that the range of the value is just between positive 10 and negative five. Okay. Positive 10, negative five, but that's only if this one doesn't work. Okay. So this is what I use there six. And then this one I left it as is, and that's pretty much about it guys. So anyways, make sure to hit the like button. Like you guys always do. Like I said, I'm going to be live streaming a little bit. Um, I will be dropping another video on the PC one and on the new LMG value as well. And yeah, turn bell notification on. And anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.